Home sales are improving across the Mahoning Valley. I brought you that story last week on First News. And now new tonight, we're learning it's having an impact on the local rental market. 27 First News reporter Amanda Smith has that side of the story tonight. Single mom and full-time student Carrie Cameron had a hard time finding an affordable place to live. I've looked at least for a good two years to try and find a place and I got, I had no hope at all. This was like my last resort was to find this place. Now almost half of her monthly income goes to rent and utilities. It's, it's pretty much a, a constant battle. It's a struggle. Mostly just make sure that my rent's paid and my bills are paid and the rest of the month I kind of just struggle to get by. Cameron isn't the only one dealing with high rents. Census data shows that rents are up nearly 10% in just the last five years. Good rentals are harder to come by. They're being snapped up by college graduates who can't get mortgages. Some of the biggest problems that we're seeing today is a lot of student loan debt, especially from recent graduates. That means people who would have bought homes now have to rent for a longer time. A lot of the rental units that are on the market you know, haven't been renovated in decades, and so people are looking for something a little higher quality, and they're willing to pay a higher price for that. That means rents of $700 and more are common, and they're in demand. All of the rentals that we've put online have been rented very, very quickly. We have zero vacancies. In Youngstown, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.